It's like this, whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ. Why? Because following Christ is not settling for lesser joys. Being an unbeliever, not following Christ, is settling for lesser joys. Joys that are temporary, love that fails. But following Christ is a treasure, he says. It is a treasure in the field. And what is that treasure? It is Christ himself. So why all this? Why is he treasured? It's because Jesus takes our wrath for us. Amen. Remember our brokenness? Remember our hiddenness? Jesus took it out and absorbed it for us that we may see God again. And then we enjoy him, the highest treasure of all tre treasures. He dies our death, that he rose again to defeat death for us. As we stand now, death has died. Christ reigns as victorious king over the kingdom. Then in his great pleasure, he gives us the kingdom, Amen. that we might treasure him. Matthew 6, 21, Jesus says, where, uh, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. What, treasure, what you treasure is your God. What you say, this is where I will bank my delight in. This is where I will find pleasure in. It may be fleeting. It may break me. It may crush me. It may be an addiction. It may cost me my family, my everything. I want this. Whatever that is, whatever you're spending your money on, your time on, is your God. Is your God a God of temporary enjoyment? Is your God a love that fails? Is your God a, a God who dreams come to you, but they come unfulfilled? Is your God a limited treasure that you settle for? My plea for you is to treasure Jesus, who is an unfailing love. Yes. Treasuring Jesus makes all other pleasures seem dull in comparison. Don't settle for lesser joys that fail you. Surrender to Christ, who calls you to enjoy Him. Not now and then die, but now and forever. In his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Because Jesus is worth it. So my plea for you is that what you have heard this morning, that the tomb is empty. That you may enjoy God forever. Because Christ died, he was buried, and he rose again for you. Let us sing the last hymn, and as we do... My prayer is if you have not found this treasure, that you would walk forward, that we would find this treasure together, that I would show you Christ, not just other people, not rules, but Christ who paid it all Amen. and all for you. Amen. Amen.